Hello Fleet Ready fam, welcome to Fleet Ready Gaming, my name is Savad and welcome to the channel. Today is May 26, 2023 and we are continuing our coverage of the Expo and Expo related items. Today we're going to be talking about the RSI links that came out yesterday. Uh, CIG released a Q&A for it, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so looked like we had an audio issue there with the intro. Sorry about that. We'll get that checked out. Before we get into the Q&A here, just wanted to remind everyone that we have a giveaway contest going on right now. All you have to do to enter is to like any of our videos, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment on any video with the hashtag FleetReadyMay. That will enter you into the contest uh, information on prizes and other details you can find in the top right. But let's go ahead and check out the Q&A. Q&A RSI links. Now that the links uh, from Robert Space Industries has been added to the verse, we posed a few questions to the vehicle team about the portable luxury all-terrain rover, which allows you to tour the verse in style and comfort. Here are the answers straight from the designers themselves. Will the passenger cabin have special cushioning or suspension to prevent guests, inventory, or beverages from being jolted when traveling quickly through rough terrain or along steep slopes? The suspension is slightly softer, providing a more comfortable ride for those aboard. However, it is ultimately based on the Ursi chassis, which requires some level of compromise to keep it functional off-road. Does the Lynx have better armor or shields than the Ursa to provide additional protection for the VIP guests? The Lynx shields remain the same. The hull is also lighter and therefore less durable, though it does have some minor armor plating underneath to provide additional protection to bridge the gap. Will the Constellation Phoenix and Emerald come with a Lynx rover? Yes, for new and existing owners, the Constellation Phoenix and Emerald now include a Lynx rover. Is there space and storage for bodyguards and their equipment? It is expected the bodyguards are up front in the cockpit with storage immediately available behind them so they're ready to exit and defend the vehicle if needed. Are the passenger area closets set up as vehicle inventory? They are. There are two of them next to each VIP seat in the rear. Does the Lynx have any extra means of self-defense like countermeasures? It does not have any additional self-defense mechanisms over the Ursa. As the Lynx has different tire setup than the Ursa, will it perform differently over uneven terrain? For example, is it as fast as the Ursa and is the handling the same? The Lynx has a slightly higher top speed than the Ursa given its lower weight and lower durability hold. The handling remains very similar to the Ursa and is only marginally influenced by the higher speed and slightly softer suspension. Will, uh, will, the, will exterior or interior parts be interchangeable between the two RSI rovers? For example, will players be able to mount the Lynx's tires on an Ursa at some point? The ability to upgrade or change wheels and suspensions is something we plan to support in the future, but not in this initial release. Now that's really interesting because this alone for other vehicle types as well will make it, you know, could make it very fun and customizable, especially for things like racing, uh, being able to swap out, you know, not only components, but your tires, um, having different types that may give you that little edge uh for traction uh overall acceleration and, and grip that that would be awesome will the links have roughly the same exterior dimensions as the ursa and thus fit into the same ships one of the core tenets of the links production was to ensure it does not exceed the dimensions of the ursa allowing complete compatibility with the entire constellation lineup as well as other ships the Lynx has a luxurious interior for meetings and short excursions. Does it include a bed or other facilities for longer journeys? There is no bed on board, but the seats are pretty comfy. 
Now, it would have been really nice if there was a bed, but we don't have a ground vehicle yet that has that. Um, how do players access the vehicle's components, such as the shield generator? Will there be access from inside, or will it be necessary to leave the links? Immediately upon entering the vehicle, the component bay is ahead of you, hidden behind some paneling alongside a weapon rack and mission box storage. That's good to see. What stands out for the Lynx that would have me pick this up over the Ursa Rover? The Lynx provides a slightly more agile and faster method of transport with exceptional views for all aboard. The trade-off is much less practical rear section for cargo transport. Does the Lynx come with a higher grade of components than the Ursa Rover? Aside from the weapons, the items themselves are the same grade as the Ursa. Does the Lynx Rover come with or have an option specific paints or customizations? Paints are available, though all Ursa and Lynx paints are compatible with the each uh, with each chassis, which is awesome to hear. So if you have any you know previous uh, Ursa paints, they can be used for the Lynx. That's cool. Does the Lynx come with a stocked fridge? Champagne is provided by default in the Lynx along with a few soft beverages. That's nice. At least you won't be thirsty while you're traveling. Overall, the Lynx looks to be pretty cool. It's been a long time coming. It was an original ground vehicle pledge, from what I recall, all the way back in 2014. So maybe not original, but one of uh, definitely an early one. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I've been considering picking it up. It's one I'm probably going to get in-game versus uh, from the store, because it's, uh, aside from, you know transport there's not much else that it's really can do i mean you could do use it for racing uh which is something i've had a, th a thought about getting into as well but uh on the competitive side but yeah let me know what you guys think have you guys already picked one up or are you on the fence about it let me know i'd love to have that conversation with you but with that being said, we're going to wrap the video up here. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe to the channel and the video. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.